Vic K. He's in trouble now. The robot has got him. Swings and misses that one though. And Vic K doesn't capitalize because he swings and misses at a schoolboy roll up. Two. I know. Oh, and Vic K kicking out. For Vic K, if he were to lose here, it would mean that he would be last going into the pro and public vote results. And he's not going to want that. Of course, on the off chance, but he did win here. It would mean that Alex Minazuki and Mick Callaway would have to win their matches here tonight in order to take 8th place. Oh, right over the face. And Vic K is bleeding. And look at this right now. Getting out of... Look at this, Vic K still fighting though. Taking any chance possible. Trash can in hand. Oh, man. He gets clotheslined. Vic K is in a world of trouble. And look at... Trash can falls off and... God, right now, um... D2894 has got this one. And now, oh my word! No! Oh! And into the ring he goes. Ah, oh, clobbered! Clobbered with that pipe and Vic Kane. Still in this one! I think D2894 now. Starting to get a bit annoyed. And, oh, Vic Kader able to move out the way. Oh, no! Vic Kader goes low! And Vic K Just dropped him! One, Holy two, moly! Three, Vic Kader! Three. What the shit?! Vic K! The individual at the bottom of the table! Well, not anymore he's not, but... He was! He's been the past at the top! The clash between bottom and top! And bottom has come off victorious! Vic K! Someone pinch me! I am fucked! Holy man, what the?! Oh, D2894 oh, He's now got a trash can in hand! Vic K has won this matchup! But D2894... Clearly not taking the loss well. Oh man! Oh god, look at this! Well, this was Vic K's last matchup of this of this set. Following that win, he's now got to rely on the present Republic, but... Clearly, D2894... He's not exactly taking it well. And look at this right now! Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> Look at this right now, this is a... Just assaulting him! Ah, oh, the stab! Oh my god, I can't believe- Seriously! Oh god, no! Put on top of that table! Oh dear god! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Just use this- Oh no! I'm putting him through the table! I think D3894, he wants to make sure that Vicko doesn't compete in the YTA permanently! The torture rack applied now! And- Fuck this! Gregory Andrews! Well, finally, someone came out here! Well, Gregory Andrews! He faces Lizzo Lucho tonight! And he will face D2894 on the next show, the final show of this set! And clearly, I don't think he approved of the attack made on Vic K. And look at this! You talk about the robot being strong. This is pure strength. Gregory Andrews. And now on top of that other table. And now... Oh, that strength and through you go! Well, Gregory Andrews... Thank God somebody came out and put a stop to that. Gregory Andrews... Definitely sends a statement to D2894. Puts him down just like that. All right, people. Well, we now move on. Following that loss, this individual has a chance to jump straight to first. He can jump straight to first here with a win. That's Brandon Wolf, And he looks to secure his place in the top four, because at the moment it's between him. At the moment it's 18 points between him, Billy Bowers, and Gregory Andrews. Also following Roy Summers' victory, Roy Summers has also entered that frame. Brandon Wolf, he looks to kick himself a point ahead, or possibly three points ahead. Here's an individual who's been throwing a curveball now with Vic K's victory. He now, more than ever, needs to win. At the very least, if he were to draw or lose, He'd have to hope that Alex Minazuki loses as well. Because Mick Callaway will face Alex Minazuki in the um in the final show. But really a win can secure that his fate other than that his fate, he could have control of his own fate rather than having to hope that the pros and the public voted for him. A win here will definitely put it in charge. A draw or a loss, he'll have to hope that Alex Minazuki loses. You know, it's like closing days of... You know, it's like the closing weeks of the Premiership. And by that I mean the Barclays Premiership, before any of you ask. It's when you fear that, you know, if you're in a situation where 
your team is about to be relegated. And you know it's a sticky situation. Like if you were in a situation where if you win and nothing else matters, it's somewhat relieving because you have your fate in your own hands. You know, I think it was the 2008-2009 season where Sunderland and Hull were in that situation. All they had to do was win their game. Nothing else would matter. But it was a different story for Newcastle and Middlesbrough that season. They had to win and hope that results elsewhere fell for them. They did not have their fate in their hands. This is probably the situation I've got to imagine that Mick Callaway has got to be feeling right now. If he were to lose this, and if Alex Minazuki were to win tonight, his fate would not be in his hands. And no one likes that situation. You see here, Mick Callaway certainly putting the pressure on early on to Brandon Wolfe. So far, almost polar opposite results. Brandon Wolfe, he's had six victories and three losses. Actually done there by Brandon Wolfe. On the previous show, he took a loss to, um, took a loss to Billy Bowers. And that, that loss there has put him in a worse opposition and put Billy Bowers in a much better position. Mick Callaway, he lost on the last show as well to Roy Summers. And that's really helped Roy Summers out in putting him in, put him in seventh at the beginning of this show. He's now really kicked up the table. Missing the elbow shot there. Remember, the Mick Callaway, he will really be looking for the win. Shot there. A loss or a draw. And then depending on the result of Alex Minazuki's matchup later tonight, he'll face Billy Bowers. It could be a daunting situation really for um Well it will be kind of a daunting situation, I'd have to say. If um Mick Callaway were to win this, because it would also mean that for Lewis Benza. Lewis Benzer would automatically lose control of his fate. Because on the final show, a win would not be enough if Mick Callaway were to win here. Missing it there. Oh, a shot! Both of these two fighting for different situations. Brandon Wolf, he's fighting to go to the top. Mick Callaway, he's fighting to maintain control of his own fate nice Mick Callaway right now getting unbelievably violent and he's going to need to be if he's going to have any chance oh man boom so you do it but Brandon Wolf still fighting See now, shot after shot now. Mick Callaway, those shots, and a Brandon Wolf busted open. Holy guacamole. Look at Brandon.